How are you guys and girls? Welcome back to Kip Team Modeling. So I've taken a little break away from what I'm currently building, which is just out of camera. Um, because I'm about to do something to it, which I've done in the previous video, um, but the audio quality wasn't fantastic. So, uh, this is an Achilles I made quite a while ago. Uh, as you can see, netting down inside the vehicle run turret and under the gun. And this vehicle is going to get cannibalized. Um, as my oldest son's got a hold of it and he's broken off all the antennas, the handholds um, and a few other little bits and bobs. So this is netting I'm referring to. Now how do we end up with that? It's a very simple process um, and you can use it to create netting of any colour you like. And first up, start with this. Um, eight ply, sterile Sterile gauze swab. Literally on Amazon. I got these from Amazon. Pack of 30. I think it was less than five pounds. And it is exactly what it says in the tin. Little square of gauze. That's it. But open it up. Fold it, and you end up with quite a nice big sheet of netting that you can cut to shape, cut to size, etc. etc. So, to get this to any color you like, small pot, and then pick the color you want. Now, personally, the way I do mine is using. Uh, track wash for the brown as such appeared on the Achilles um, slimy green dark uh, for a more green uh, well, I say more green I've actually got the only piece I've got left it comes out that color and the um, track wash comes out this color so they're the two colours I primarily use, but you can use any colour you like. Um, streaking grime, washes, etc. Mix and match as much as you like to get the colour you want. And it's a very simple process. I mean, it is about as simple as you get. Pour your bottle into a suitable container. Take your net in. I am wearing gloves for a reason. Dunk it. That's literally it. Dunk it, give it a good pot, prod around in there. Pull it out. Squeeze out as much of the excess liquid you can. Yes, it crumples down into a tiny little ball. But it's not the end of the world. And then unfold it. Um, and if you're after netting for a specific shape, um, like a gun barrel, which is a prime example, you can either A, just let it dry normally, so find something to hang it off or hang it over. I use my camera stand because it's a um, wire type. Yeah, let's just open it up, hang it up, and let it dry. It's as simple as that. Right, I'm going to hang this up and let it dry, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so here's one I made a while ago, um, brown variety. So this one, I didn't um, fully unfold it um, before it dried. I literally just took the swab out the packet, dunked it in. And that was that. So this one's fully dry. Uh, ready to rock and roll. As you can see, you get a decent size web of it. So the joy of this material, if particularly this is too dark for you, or the green's too dark for you, if you take it, um, literally scrunch it back up into a ball, run it around your hands a few times, etc. Uh, the material gets lighter and lighter and lighter as some of that 
dye starts to work its way out. So you end up with a lighter variation of the netting itself. Same applies with the green as it does with camouflage brown. So now I'm going to attempt something I've not attempted before in a different way, uh, which is the Hessian style camouflage um, that you see draped over Cromwell's uh, comets, uh, Churchill's, etc. Um, and for this, you can do it one of several ways. You can either use good old, um, very thin modeling masking tape and cut it down to size, drape it over the barrel um, and then just paint it by hand. Or the more complex way, which is a little bit more challenging, false paper. Just normal standard A4 white printer paper will do the job. And a ruler, where do I put my ruler? There's my ruler. And where do I put my pencil? And pencil, leave no print today. Right, so if you're trying to get it so the Hessian um, is sitting through a netting rather than just being all you see is the Hessian, you have to remember that the holes in these types of gauze are only a few millimeters wide. So we're talking anywhere between a millimeter and a sort of three mil, three mil wide. So I'm going to go with about three millimeters as a standard course of action. I'm going to put a bit of paper down. And very simply, I am going to mark out on this piece of paper every three millimeters i'm going to put a little dot and it's as simple as just using you using your ruler just marking out every three mil until you feel you have a sufficient quantity. Okay, that is, I will be here all day, I'll work. So, look, a cheeky cheeky, fold the paper in half. And fold the paper in half again. Getting the edges to match. Right, and that's very simple. Draw out your lines. Doesn't matter if it's slightly over, slightly under. Not everything will be equal or the same. Because this will be quite fiddly in the context of using a pair of tweezers to uh, thread it through the Hessian netting, well, the netting style. So I'm going to carry on doing this and I'll be back in a moment. Okay then, so now uh, the paper's dried and the uh, netting has dried, I've actually cut this uh, netting in half and took one of the edges off of it as it is a bit too big to work with I'm trying to get it on camera so now that's all done um, we're going to take what we're going to be putting the netting on in this case it is a mark 1 centurion turret and we're just going to be doing a simple um, drape of camouflage netting over the barrel so simple as it gets take your camouflage take your netting drape it over the barrel accordingly making sure there is a bit of hang on both sides so in this case 
the piece around the rear of the gun is going to be scrambled up but we do not want to cover the muzzle of the gun as your a crew wouldn't do that because one it's just pointless and the first, when you fire that gun it is going to get obliterated and go everywhere and two it poses a potential um, pressure issue to the gun so once we've done that and um, you've decided you've got a nice length on either side so I normally go about a finger's width on either side take scissors and just cut very simple very 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 simple so uh, da -da -da. the problem about working with netting it is quite hard to see sometimes what you are doing so there we go okay so we're just going to continue that line all the way through the netting to the top it doesn't matter if it's a bit wonky or a bit a bit all over the shop Because at the end of the day, it's a piece of netting. Is yes, it may be a perfect square in reality, but when it's draped over a vehicle, um, it does not appear so. And this is going to annoy me now because I cannot find the edges. There we go. So it's going to redrape that back over the gun barrel when I can get hold of it. And it stops falling out my fingers. Drape that back over the gun barrel, making sure that there is enough material there for the purposes we want. Like so. So normally I'd clip the ends of clip the ends um, to make it a little bit neater. Because you can cut it down, make it as neat as you like, or as ugly as you like. Actually, I am just going to clip the back end off slightly so I can slide it a little bit down the barrel. Just cut that bit off. Right, so. There we go. Nicely done. So there's several ways that you can attach this to your gun. Um, you can either attach it using PVA glue, super glue, you name it, what you can think of. But in this case, I'm going to break from what I normally do, which is just PVA it straight onto the gun itself. And I'm actually going to put a strip of double-sided tape along the top of the gun. Um, this is so the netting hangs a bit more freely over the barrel itself. Um, this is a technique I've not tried before, so you guys are going to be the first, first people to see it. Um, but normally I'd get a drop of super glue, one, one at the end, one in the middle, one at the far end. So I'm just going to grind me double-sided sticky tape and chuck that on now. Now the double-sided sticky tape is applied, um, I'm just going to peel the top off. Because this is not... Um, Normal double -sided sticky tape, this stuff is actually called refix tape. Um, it's designed for car interiors. So the actual um, sticky bit itself is more of a jelly than a normal bit of double sided sticky tape. Um, normal double sided sticky tape will work absolutely fine. But this stuff I, I use um, as it has a bit more tolerance when it comes to uh, adhering to, adhering to stuff. And this has got a metal gun barrel. Um, rather than just a normal one. So, take your net and place it over the barrel. Doesn't have to be neat, doesn't have to be perfect at this point. It's a camouflage net, people. It is going to be just chucked over the barrel. Now I'm just going to pull it down and make sure it adheres nicely into the double sided sticky tape. Like so. Okay, as you can see, the net is a bit wibbly wavy all over the shop. I'm not particularly liking how it's gone here. 
going to try and pull that out nicely. Okay. That will do, donkey. That will do. Right. So, as you can see, there's scooter. A um, little bit dangling off. I just either tend to A, pull them off, or B, just clip them with some scissors. Like so. Now, the next step's going to get a bit messy. And slip that bit off there as well. Just so it's got a little bit of conformity towards the back end of the gun. So the next step is going to get a little bit messy. Um, and there's several ways you can do this. So either A, you can take your time now um, and apply some of these strips, cut them down, apply them using PVA glue. Or do what I'm about to do, which is a nice little 50-50, oh, I think it's a bit more than 50-50 to be honest. A uh, mix of PVA and isopropyl alcohol. I think there's a bit of water chucked in there for good measure as well. It's something I do generally try to keep lying around nowadays. As well as a few pipettes. Because, like I said, cam camouflage nets actually have a bit of weight to them. Um, so they do dangle and hang off items. So you can do this with a brush if you so choose to. Or you can do it with pipette, and that's literally just apply it to the net itself. And the problem I've got here is where the net is actually dipped in the enamel. So I'm going to, have to do this with a brush rather than trying to do this with a pipette. That's my own fault. I forgot I used an enamel rather than an acrylic. I'm actually just forcing that into the net, into the netting, uh, so it actually gains some weight and hangs accordingly. Now at this point, not too worried about if bits and bobs are dangling like this bit. Like I said, once this is dry, you can just come around with scissors and clip it off. There we go, now that's been forced actually into the netting. Netting is now dangling accordingly. Which is lovely. Making sure there's ample amounts on there. There we go. Now you can just leave this as a net on its own, um, or you can add the camouflage strip to it. So let's just move that out of the way so we don't send that flying across the room. Okay, so I'm now going to take the camouflage strips. Apologies oh, for that, my son came around to the kitchen. Um, so now I'm going to take the strips that we painted earlier and cut down. And once again, I'm going to cut them down again. So, take a good little bundle of them. And cut them to a sensible length. So, probably want to be about there. And they go flying across the room. Nice. And it is a case of literally with a pair of tweezers, take the piece of the netting, well, take the pieces of um, material. Try and find the best way to do this on camera. <clears throat> Dip them into your solution. And then simply apply them to the net. At this point, not worrying too much about them sticking out and flexing. because we can come around in a little bit and get them to adhere according to gravity. I'm not particularly just picking one, one colour 
it is a complete mismatch of colours. And they're not going on in any sort of logical uh, shape, rhyme or reason, just so there is a good coverage upon the netting itself. Now I suppose if you really wanted to, you could pre-soak these um, in the solution. Try not to find anything that's too thick. And it is literally a case of just chop them on. Um, so I'm going to continue to do that off camera. And I'll join you back in a moment. Okay, so now that um, all that is applied, it is still soaking wet. So I'm just going to let it dry. Um, like I said, they don't have to be on there. Any particular mismatch reason, as long as you get decent coverage. Because I'm going to let it dry. And then we're going to get it to conform to the shape. Um, because of gravity and whatnot. So I'm going to let it dry and be right back. So I've let this dry for about half an hour, um, not even that actually, it must be about 10-15 minutes. Um, I'm dipping my fingers actually in isopropyl alcohol. Um, if you've got sensitive skin, uh, please wear gloves, as I've got a cut on the side of my finger and it's burning quite a lot. So, with damp fingers, we're just going to go around and either A, adjust the fallout of strips, and B, just compress them to the barrel itself. So we get a nice bit of hang on them. So it's not a perfect um, way of doing this. I have not yet perfected a perfect way of doing this. Because it is quite finicky and fiddly. You can leave them to dry completely and also do this, but and I'm just doing this while it's a little bit damp, trying to get a bit more adhesion out of the strips themselves. So it's like down here, the strips are actually moved where they shouldn't have moved so it's just a case of compressing them accordingly come on oh whatever And of course, little bits will come off, and it is uh, annoying, but they need to simply be placed back on. Looking back, I should have used um, slightly longer strips, but it is all a case of trial and error. You learn by doing. And of course, some decides to fall off completely, which becomes really annoying. You end up going round and round in circles. By keeping your fingers moist in the isopropyl alcohol means it doesn't stick to your fingers. But you do make a hell of a mess. 
in the process. There is other ways you can achieve the same same look, and that's simply by applying masking tape over the gun barrel itself and painting the strips ind individually. Um, I've done that one before. That is actually quite a good method of achieving this. But so if you want to add the netting, it's there's no actual. I've not actually found a way to achieve this properly. Now, like I said, this is all trial and error and. It gets a bit finicky and a bit messy. And yeah, you look at it and go, oh my god, that looks horrible. Like right now, I'm looking at this going, oh my god, this is an absolute disaster. This one, the one I try to film to show people how to do stuff. And it goes horrifically wrong. Because that is Sus Law and the way of life. Because you do one, it comes out absolutely amazing. It's like, oh yeah, wow, okay. I'll show people how to do that. And then the one you try to film, it just goes horrifically wrong. So if uh, at some point I cut to, here's one I made earlier, you know why. But it's not actually going as bad as it could be. Spin the gun around. Pull the ones which are slightly long. And just lace that across there, because a little bit of lack of coverage. Just shove them around a little bit, so there is a bit of discrepancy in the appearance just trying to make sure they all conform nicely to the barrel itself unlike you you decide you don't want to play ball and there is points uh, on the barrel which I know aren't covered at all but I'm not overly worried. Okay, there we go. Now it's looking a lot better. Because there is, like I said, there is other ways you can do this, and you can do this using uh, just tape, drape it over the barrel, cut it to the length you want, and paint it accordingly. There we go. That's not looking too shabby. To be honest, it could be looking a lot worse. So, right, try and just get this now to adhere exactly how I want it to which is just apply a bit of underneath pressure hopefully it doesn't try and adhere to my fingers again I'm just literally pinching it together underneath the barrel and pulling down to try and get because now it's inside the round over the barrel It's about trying to get it to adhere vertically as well. So there we go. That's looking a lot better. And it's likely anything you can't brush it because otherwise A it will either just try and spring back or B it just goes horrifically wrong. So these bits on the end, just a little bit of twisting, just to get them to combine together. And how the alcohol alcohols run dry on my fingers. Huh, just looking at uh, the bottle, it even says wear protective gloves. 
Well, quite simply, I've been exposed to enough stuff in my lifetime, I've given up caring. Um, but yeah, please adhere to the safety warnings. Just because I'm doing it doesn't mean you should do it. Best way of putting it. There we go. There's just a few problem strands left. Um, and they will just take a little bit more finicking to get right. There we go. That's pretty much there now. So we'll let it dry completely. I just realised that's completely out. That's been completely out of focus because I'm not looking at my camera. So we'll just let that dry now and see how it comes out. Okay, so now that's dried um, and adhered quite nicely to the barrel and whatnot, all I've just gone and done anywhere where the papers showed up a bit there uh, too white and just touched it in with the appropriate colour. So now, just to finish um, this off, all we're going to do is just trim off uh, the little bits that are dangling down. And that's it. If anything you don't particularly want to be there, just chop it off with a pair of scissors. So, like for example, um, I use quite short ones. Um, in reality, personally, um, when, next time I do one, I'm going to make them longer. But there's other alternatives. So you can either a just use the netting on its own to drape that over the barrel um, and over the actual hull of the vehicle, and just adhere that in with um, watered down PVA mixed with um, isopropyl alcohol. And um, you can turn those pieces of netting into uh, multicolored uh, multicolored pieces by, for example. Uh, um, getting some black wash and just put streaks on there and same with um, some uh, for example track wash it's a very nice brown color and creating a pattern just in the netting itself um, and then same again just trace that over where you want it to appear on the vehicle um, and attach using watered down PVA uh, 